Hi guys, welcome back to our day four practice. Okay, the first one, Anna, Pete, and Jack go to the same school. One day, the librarian said to them, "Guess how many books we have in the school library?" Anna said, two thousand and ten." Okay, we have the first number. And the Peter said, nineteen ninety eight, and Jack said, twenty fifteen. Okay, it turned out that that the number of the books. In the library, so the correct number differed from the numbers from the three numbers by twelve, seven, and five. And notice these numbers are not in the order they made their guesses. So how many books are there in the school library? I right, guess so. This one we already have three numbers. This one, this one, and this one. And also, we have the three differences, right, between those three numbers and the correct number, twelve, seven, and five. So how can we solve it? So for this one, okay, firstly, we are going to make one number nine segment. Okay, so from the left to the right, the numbers are going to, okay, from a bit from the smaller. To the bigger, too big. Okay, so let's put the three numbers on the number line. Okay, the smallest number is nineteen ninety eight. The second should be twenty ten. The third is twenty fifteen. Okay, we have the three numbers. And the, my question, okay, please think about. So the correct number could be out. Of this range, yes or no? Can we have the correct number over here or over here? No, right? Okay, so the correct number it has to be inside of this part. Okay, so you can find what is difference between the smallest and the biggest number. It is the seventeen. So you can see twelve. Seven five, twelve plus five equals to seventeen, right? Because our correct number is inside of the this range, like maybe here, right? So this number plus this number has to be seventeen. So the two numbers have to be twelve and five. Okay, so which means for the twenty ten, the difference between this number. And the correct number, the difference between the two numbers has to be seven. Okay, so we're gonna make one addition and one subtraction to check. If we make one addition, okay, if the correct number is bigger than twenty ten, we're gonna plus seven. We will find the number will be twenty seventeen. But this number is out of this range, so it's not correct. Or We're gonna make one subtraction, right? So the number, the correct number, is smaller than twenty ten minus seven equals to twenty two thousand and three. Okay, it's perfect, right? This number is inside of this range. So how many books are there in the library? The number should be two thousand and three books. That is the answer. You can double check. Okay, so here the difference between the two numbers is the five, the two numbers is the seven, the two numbers is the twelve. So twelve plus five equals to seventeen. So all are correct. All right, guys, that is for the first one. Okay, let's move on to the number two. Number two here, a secret agent wants to break a six-digit code, and he knows that the sum Of the first, third, and fifth digits is equal to the sum of the second, fourth, and the sixth digits. Which of the following numbers could be the code? So, guys, let's take a look at the option A. Okay. So, which means this one, this one digit plus this one plus this one should be equal to. One plus the star plus the one, right? The sum of the 
uh, digits on the odd places should be equal to the num to the sum of the digits on the even places. Okay, so let's make one equation. Okay, eight plus a number and plus six equals two. Okay, one plus a number plus one. So let me use the, the A and the B to represent the two numbers, okay? Because two numbers, maybe they're different. Okay, so like A, um, A and the B or A and the B. So here is the A, here is the B. Okay, we have 14 plus A equal to two plus B. And then we can subtract the two from the both two sides. So it will be 12 plus A equals to B. All right, guys, so 12 plus A equals to the B, which means the B, this number, it has to be bigger than 12, right? So can we put a two-digit number over here? No way, right? Impossible. So option A should be, okay, out. It's not correct. Okay, and option B. Okay, we can quickly go through the option B. We have the seven, 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 right? Seven plus seven plus seven equals to 21. And 21, right? And the two numbers like A, B, okay. A plus two plus B. A plus B plus two equals to 21. So which means the sum of the two digits equals to 19. So guys, the biggest Two digits are nine and nine, right? Nine plus nine, just 18. So which means, okay, the option B is not correct. Okay, let's move on to the option C. We have the four. Four plus four plus four equals 12. So 12 equals to a number plus two, right? Plus one plus one plus two. So which means A equals to 10. So can we put 10 here? No, it has to be a one digit. So option C will be incorrect. Okay, and let's move on to the option D. One plus the, a number plus a number, right? Like a and B. One plus A plus B equals to two plus nine plus eight. Two plus nine plus eight will be one plus A plus B equals to 19. So which means A plus B equals to 18. So it's possible. If we have line and nine here, right? It will be correct. So option D, it is possible, okay, it's correct. And for the option E, we have one plus one plus two equals to four. And then we have eight plus the two digits, okay, equals to A plus the two digits. It's incorrect, right? Because this part is bigger than four. So four cannot be equal to eight plus the other two numbers. So option E will be out. So only option D, it is the answer. All right, guys, so you can use the, uh, this way, right? Apply the pattern, apply this way into the options one by one to check. Okay, that is the second. And then we're gonna move on to the next one, okay. So we have the number three, okay, the last one here. The kangaroo Hamish bought some of the toys shown in the picture and they gave the cashier 150 can coins. And then he received 20 can coins back. Okay, so here we're gonna circle out the important information. So he gave 150 and then he received 20 back. So which means, okay, we, he used the 150 minus 20 coins is 130 points. And then he changed his mind and exchanged one of the toys for another. He got back an additional five can coins. What toys did Hamish leave the store with? Okay, guys, so we can make one equation, okay? So for one example, at the beginning, he bought A and B, the two toys, and they cost 130 coins. But then he changed his mind and exchanged one of the toys for another. So 
Let's take a guess. Okay, maybe he just changed the toy B to the toy C. Okay, let me make one the other. Would be A plus C equals to, but the how many coins are be here? He got back one additional five coins. So which means, okay, just the 125 coins of the two toys, right? Okay, so here you will find the difference the difference of the price of the two toys should be five coins. So which means, okay, the toy C is five coins cheaper than the toy B. You will find, okay, uh, among them, what's, which two coins, the difference is five coins. is the horse and the duck, right? So which means the C should be the horse and the B, that is the duck, right? Okay, so a toy plus the horse equals to 125. So this one equals to what? Equals to 73, right? Because this one is the 52. So you could find, okay, only the bear. So finally, the Hamish had the bear and the horse, right? Leave the store with the two toys. That is answer.